back in the 1980s. One of those television programs which we always tried to watch featured a black car and the man driving that car using the car's technology to fight crime. The car was known as Kit. He was Michael Knight. The programme was Knight Rider. And today we meet the Northampton version of that car. Now, I don't know if the man alongside me is the North Antrim answer to David Hasselhoff or Michael Knight. Nev Crawford, thanks for chatting to us on Cosby Coast Radio. Nev, of course, no stranger to Cosby Coast Radio, one of our presenters. But you're also a secret Knight Rider fan? I am indeed, yes. I definitely started off very early. I watched Knight Rider from a grew up. Just, I loved the car and just, I had to have it. Just... I was going to say to you how, why and when did this all start. I mean, are you first and foremost a car enthusiast or is it a Knight Rider car enthusiast? Well anybody that knows me knows that I'm mad about cars anyway but uh, definitely Knight Rider especially you know from watching it from early on and um, that was just one of the things I had to have and I remember saying to my dad one day daddy I'm going to have that car and I remember him saying whatever son you know so. Uh, but, but this goes back and is this a genuine car of the same model that was featured in Knight Rider? It is, aye. it's a 1982 Pontiac Trans Am, so it mimics the original car, you know, a few wee slight differences there, but we're getting there, it's a, it's a work in progress. Aye, aye. So where did you get this car? How did it come into your possession? I bought it from a gentleman in Cambridgeshire in England who buys them from America, and for the likes of guys that are wanting to do a Knight Rider replica, you approach him and he gets you the car and you get it shipped over to here. So. All right, so as I, as I look around now, and hopefully we're getting a good shot of this on camera, it looks the business, it looks absolutely perfect. You've clearly put a lot of work into this. A lot of sweat and tears, yes, but into it. But as I said, it, there's a lot of stuff to go in the inside, like the steering wheel and the dash and the, the red light is all to still come, you know, but it's all money and it's all time and effort, you know, but we're getting there. What, what sort of money has it taken to get to this stage? Lots and lots of thousands. Lots and lots of thousands and, and man hours to even get it looking like kit, not to mention, as I say, inside of it. So the car came, it was, it was all painted badly, so I resprayed the car to make it look as shiny as kit. So, so what colour was this car when you bought it or got it? It was like a hazy black, so it was, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't nice. So I wanted to have it shiny like the car on TV. And of course, I know that your work with, um, shall we say, London buses, your work with a bus company, you're a sprayer, so presumably you're putting those skills to good use here. I would like to think so. I haven't had any bad complaints so far. <laughs> so far, so good. I think we'll get a wee look inside. Can we, can we see inside the certainly, car? Certainly, of course we can. Yep, no problem. All right, Nev, we're uh, just inside the... What did you say this car was? A 1982 Pontiac Trans Am. Okay, so we're inside the, the, the Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, by the look of the, the speedometer, it's 57, 58,000 miles. Yep, yeah, it hasn't covered very much mileage, which is a good thing, so the engine's healthy enough and all the things work. And how similar, I, I know obviously on the, the television programme they've, they've doctored the car up to, to, to look a certain way, but this is broadly similar to what that car is. Well, there's a big dash piece that goes in here, which I have, um, and then there's an electronics that mimic kit with yeah. all the buttons and, of course, the famous turbo boost button. And then we have the steering wheel as well, which is like a Gullwing steering wheel. That's to go on here as well. But as I say, it's, it's, it's on the to-do list, you know. Now, uh, and we're sitting in a private yard here. The, 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 the car's not ready for the road as such. No. But you aim to have this car on the road at some point. Oh, I definitely, yep. And I'm hoping to do a few functions and stuff, like weddings and stuff, and, and do public events and charity things, you know, because the whole thing about Night Rider was one man can make a difference, you know. So, And when it's out and about, people really do feel nostalgic when they see it, you know, so... And we often see the DeLorean, for example, at, at different shows in the area. So as far as you're concerned, at some point, this will be making an appearance. Red lights and all at the front. Yeah, the red lights order that's coming from a guy in Texas who specialises in the scanner lights for the car. So it's on its way and it will be on the car as soon as I get it. So it's, it's there. So hopefully we'll get it done. OK, well, it's been an interesting morning, to say the least. Uh, my thanks to Nev Crawford. Uh, Cosby Coast Radio presenter, of course, as well. Uh, and my thanks to Nev for inviting us up here to have a look at this car. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I very much look forward to seeing this somewhere out and about, on show and on the road. Is there a possibility of a drive in this car sometime? Oh, I will we'll certainly. We'll keep you right. We'll get you a drive on it. <laughs> there we are. Uh, we get a shot of us round the coast road. That's Kit uh, and Nev and Dennis and the Hoff or whoever the Hoff might be for Cosby Coast Radio at a secret location in North Antrim. I'm Dennis McNeil.